Hey guys, Sprout here, welcome back to the channel. Now, when you reach around about level 30 and you do a certain teleportation stone quest, you will unlock the jetpack, which you need to get a certain rune to actually do it. However, the tutorial for it is not very clear, so I thought I'd give you a proper guide on how exactly to use the jetpack. Now, if you see this windmill in front of me here, there is a chest at the very top of it, and I'm going to go get it with the jetpack from all the way over here. So basically, to activate the jetpack, you click this little button down at the bottom right, and it opens up the jetpack menu like you see here. You've got three buttons. You've got take off, parachute, and quite literally just stop. So, as you can probably guess, click the ignite button and go into the air. Now, once you're at the very top of this ascending, you'll go into a sort of glide mode and you get this little indicator in front of you, the little green one. The green one is where you're going to land. So if you line this up with the tip of there, like so, just keep it targeted and you should be able to just uh, not do what I just did and fall straight back off. But you get the idea. You can land exactly on it. You can also, while you're falling, and I will show you once it cools down, just run back over here again. If you're accurate enough and you're using several thousand fingers at once. I only use two, of course. But you can also do this to make sure you're quite accurate. So, like I say, fly up into the air. Start heading towards your target. It's actually easier if you do it closer, but I'm being from a distance here just to show you what to do. You can aim for the thing and then use your grapple from the jetpack and be a bit more accurate. And there we go, I've got the chest. I don't know what I just got there, whatever. Whatever, but yeah. Got that all that. So basically that's how we use the jetpack guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you find it useful. Make sure you like and subscribe if you did. And if you have any guides you want us to go through on the game whatsoever, please let us know down in the comments and I'll try my best to do them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.